Alicia here from Little Country Bumpkin. Just thought I'd do a little bit of a video on um, the story about my brain tumour. I've done a blog so I'll connect this video for people that prefer to watch and listen rather than read. Um, so back in March this year I was diagnosed with a glioma brain tumour. Um, sadly at the moment it can't be treated but hopefully in the near future it will be able to. So if I just start from the beginning and go from there really. So in 2012 I was diagnosed with ME which is an illness. Um, being very uh, fatigued all the time, having extreme headaches, aching from bone to muscle, um, spending a lot of time in bed asleep. I was told that this was an untreatable illness and maybe in time because I was so young that it would become better and I would get better. In time, yes I did become better and I started going back to work and I didn't feel so tired. The headaches was always still there though. In November last year, 2016, kind of took a bit of time for the worst. Um, had a extreme bad headache and zoned out while I was driving um, caused me to actually go up a curb and blow my tire out so needless to say the next day I went to my GP stopped driving um, had my license took off me uh, then got took to Norfolk and Norwich Hospital where I had scan after scan after tests um, because they thought I had epilepsy due to zoning out, obviously, which would be the most obvious um, illness to have. Uh, I then received a letter in the post saying that I had an appointment at Addenbrooke's and they had found um, abnormality in my brain. Complete shock, um, mixed emotions. I oh, So a week later... Uh, me and my partner John, who supports me a lot, um, went out to Addenbrooke's and uh, walked into this waiting room, which was full of posters about cancer, posters about tumours. Um, there was people in there that were crying with happiness. Maybe they got the all clear, but also people crying with sadness. Um, there was people waiting in there that had looked like they'd just had the operation done on their brain. I went into complete shock, um, went numb, just froze really. I thought kind of this isn't happening to me, this isn't what I think it is. Um, went into the consultant's room, into my appointment, absolutely petrified, to see my scan up on the screen. And uh, he turned he turned the computer screen towards me and John, and said that uh, they would need to do a biopsy, but they think this abnormality is actually a brain tumor. Um, passed me a load of leaflets all about brain tumors and tumors and the support and yeah, um, it was very overwhelming, very overwhelming. Um, mixed emotions, questions went round and round in my head but that I couldn't get out um, <clears throat> sorry um, yeah so questions that went round in my head that I couldn't couldn't get out, um, I froze I went completely numb um, I agreed to have the biopsy done because I wanted to make sure that this is 100% true what they were saying because I didn't believe it I uh, just kept thinking maybe they've got the wrong person, maybe this isn't what they think it is. So I had the um, had the biopsy done two weeks later at Addenbrooke's in Cambridge. And uh, two weeks after that, uh, we went back up there, me and John went back up there to, for the appointment. Again, went in, just mixed emotions all the time I just felt numb I didn't know what to do I didn't know what to say I didn't know if to cry scream be positive I didn't have a clue um, and it was then in March this was March 2017 this year that uh, 
he sadly diagnosed me with a glioma brain tumour. So obviously my first question is, get this thing out of my head. Like, I don't want it there. Um, but it's a little bit more complicated than that. Uh, basically where the glioma brain tumour is, is my right side front top of my brain. Um, which causes high risks if they treat or if they um, operate. So the risks include, or may include, uh, going blind, having a stroke, having seizures, um, and the, they are very high risks. So uh, my only kind of option was at this time, because the tumour is quite small in itself at the moment, um, was to be monitored basically. So every six months I will have a scan um, back at Adam Brooks with special diaper in, um, which brings more details off of the, of the brain. Um, and I've got my first six month scan this month in October uh, to see basically how far it's grown, whether it's stable, whether it's not stable. Um, and by them monitoring it, they will be able to obviously jump on it as soon as it does grow and does get bigger and start affecting me more. Um, symptoms basically all I get is, is extreme headaches. The headaches uh, could go into migraines and they could last for three to four days. Um, that, is, that is basically the only symptom I get. But I've spoke to a lot of other people and they do get other symptoms as well. Um, I haven't zoned out since November last year. So we basically put that down to stress at the time. Um, I've been in contact with a charity called Brain Tumor Research, which provide a lot of information about brain tumors, um, which I have put a link on my blog as well. Um, and I've also done a um, charity event that raised 3,600 to Brain Tumor Research as well. So uh, a few little just facts for you. Um, there is 120 types of brain tumours, that's why it's very hard to um, get diagnosed with a brain tumour. Um, only 1% of the national spend uh, goes on brain tumours. And uh, brain tumours are the most common cause of deaths um, for adult and children under the age of 40. So there, there's not enough um, information, there's not enough awareness out there of brain tumours, I don't think. Uh, there's a lot of awareness of breast cancer, there's a lot of awareness of, you know, the different types of cancers. You get it on the uh, Facebook group, on the Facebook messenger, don't you? The chain messages and things like that. You never get one about brain tumours, but brain tumours are more common than you think. And this is why I kind of wanted to share my story with you guys, because I feel that there should be more awareness out there. So, um, yeah, basically, that's kind of more the reason why I'm doing the, the blogging and the v-blogging, because since I was diagnosed in March, it's turned a corner for me, and I, I just... I'm so positive about everything, I'm grateful for everything and, and I want to bring that positive vibe to you guys that watch my videos as well. Like nothing will beat us, nothing will get us down because we're human and you know if we have a positive vibe we can get through anything. Okay, thanks for watching, bye.